Community Manager for AcrobatUsers.com. Just to give you a little background on these Tech Talk series, they're designed to be an informal way to visually answer the most popular questions that are regularly posted on AcrobatUsers.com forums. For example, today's topic has been designed around the most popular questions asked in the Lifecycle Designer Forum. This Tech Talk is also going to be recorded, so you can come back and review portions of the demonstration at your leisure. We also have several experts assisting us today to help answer your questions. In addition, at the end of today's session, we will post a sample Joining us today is Paul Garrett. He is an eSystems specialist on the technical marketing team at Adobe Systems. In this role, he focuses on technical education and escalation for the Adobe field sales team. He has worked in the forms industry for 15 years and has hosted several lab sessions at the Adobe Max conferences. We're really grateful to Paul for presenting the first in a series of Tech Talks on AcrobatUsers.com. Welcome, Paul. Thank you, Laurie. Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Good morning, wherever you might be. Um, as as Laurie mentioned, I've been uh, doing this type of thing for some time now, playing with forms and and dealing in this uh, particular industry. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to answer a number of questions on on both this form and uh, other forms. And and what I have uh, done is basically gone through and taken a poll of all of those types of questions and and kind of come up with the top three uh, problems that seem to be recurring over and over and over again. And uh, I've taken those, and I've, I've tried to create sample applications or sample forms to, so that you can reference these things in the future. But there's nothing better than, than having somebody here talking to you about it and kind of explaining it as we go along. So uh, that's what I thought we'd, uh, we'd try to accomplish today. <coughs> Pardon me. So uh, first things first, uh, if I go into the Lifecycle Designer here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a form. And what I'm covering is three different topics today. So uh, I'm going to talk in terms of, of emailing forms around, uh, whether that be the, the XML data or the actual form itself, and some of the different techniques that are used and some of the, the challenges that people come across. The next thing I'm going to talk about are attachments inside of uh, PDFs. How do I get attachments into there? How do I deal with them and so on? And the third topic uh, that I see quite frequently are people who try to, to generate unique IDs on a particular form. Think in terms of I need to generate a transaction ID to, to make this particular form that I'm submitting unique. And I'm going to deal with it from, from two perspectives, one from a, uh, an enterprise perspective and one from a, uh, a small business perspective. So let's get started. And, and I have no idea how long this is going to take. So I have an extra one uh, sitting in the rafters here uh, that everybody asked about us being able to lock all the fields. So uh, if we can get to the fourth one, we will, but uh, we'll have to see how our time goes. So first one we're going to talk about is the different email options. So if I go ahead and open up my little sample form here, you will notice that I'm displaying this inside of Designer, and I'm looking at the, uh, the actual design of the form itself. So <clears throat> I have within here a, a number of different ways to accomplish uh, what's going on with, with the email. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this in a preview mode, uh, and we're going to be jumping back and forth from this preview back to design mode so we can look and, and interrogate things. So what I've done and the way I've designed this form here is I have uh, made it such that I've broken it up into different sections. So when we're dealing with an XFA form, i.e., that is a form that is built inside of Designer and uh, it can, either can be saved as an XDP file or a PDF file, these are the different ways that can be used. If I'm dealing with an Acroform form, uh, or I can also do it the Acroform way on a uh, an XDP form. In fact, this is what this is here, and this is what we're going to be talking about today. So starting from the top, very, very simply, inside of Designer in the Object Library template, we provide for you a Submit by Email button. And the designers of the, uh, the developers of the designer uh, determined that it would be nice to have a button to automate or try to make it as easy as possible for users to submit an email. So this is making no assumptions whatsoever that you have vanilla product out of the box, Etc. So when I use this particular button, by default, it is going to take the particular uh, file, the, the PDF file that we're working on, or PDF file that's open, it's going to put it inside of an email, and it is going to make it an XML file. So it's assuming that you want to send XML data from one side to the other. Now once I get the XML to the other side, 
to whoever the receiver might be. I can open up that XML and do something with it. I can save it. I can write it to a database. I can do anything I want with it. But the reason why we assume XML here is that all products, whether it be Acrobat or Reader, uh, will be able to send this, and this will work out of the box without making any changes whatsoever. 